Brings bad luck. Do not believe in luck. Okay, Lonnie. He's winning big. It's now or never. I think it's coming down. Wilson just sent Lonnie into the elevator. Loud and clear, Lieutenant. If she's coming, I have a front row seat. I've got her. She just went into active sweet. Lindsay, be careful. Hey, hey, I got 10 years on you, buddy. I'm the original man of steel. You're the one I'm worried about. You're in that bed of snakes. sure nobody sees you. There's no one in the hallway but an electrician. Electrician? You didn't say anything about an electrician. He works for the hotel. I've seen him around. Let's stay in the room. Rupier, for you. Wilson? We are calling it a night. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. Make sure security is behind us until we get these up in the room safe, all right? All right. Delay him. I want you to stay close to Mr. Hatton. He's carrying a great deal of cash, right? Lonnie, get out of the room fast. Acton's on his way up. What about the guy on the ladder? Well, if he follows you, I'll handle him. You get in your car and you head east out of town. We'll pick up the film from you there. She's leaving in a hurry, Lieutenant. I know. Wilson just put me in charge. That means we got a broken play. Can you follow Lonnie? Back me up if I blow it. We get six months in this one, Muncie. I'll be right behind you. Yeah. Charles, security can only do so much in a crowd with you carrying all these chips. I'd feel a lot better if you took it to the cashier. No, I don't want to. Uh, that's good advice, Miss Rack, and I recommend it. <sighs> well, you're probably right. They're clumsy as hell anyway. <laughs> Relax, Lieutenant. Be careful, Muncie. I don't know where Wilson is. Great. They burned him. She's got a guy on her tail. He's in a maintenance suit. Now stop him. I got her. And I got him. Wait here, Mr. Rackin, and don't leave. Oh, where are you going? God, I think he made you. Muncie! Muncie! Wait a minute! Michael, what are you doing? Stay here with him. No, I'll go with you. Michael, why are you doing this? You were hired to protect Charles. You can't leave him. These people are no longer interested in your boss. They just got what they were after. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain it all to you now, Tanya. But your boss's chief of security is up to his Bahamian bank account and industrial espionage. And now murder. I don't believe it. Did you believe that dead cop back there? He was my partner. I was supposed to be covering him.
Will you step out of the car, please, Lonnie? You did a really nice job. I'll take that microfilm. All right, hold it right there. You move, I fire. Drop the gun, Sims, and kick it over here. Looks like we made a small mistake. I'd call treason more than a small mistake. Draws the death penalty. Tanya, pick up his gun. That won't be necessary. I have my own. Drop it. You're working for them? Oh, I've disappointed you. Tanya, give me the gun. I could still make a deal for you if you cooperate. Give it to me. I intend to. Just a wash and wax, please. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, and a new bike. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, let's bring Crane back from Oz. Well, to quote Blanche Dubois, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Hmm. You're welcome. Just tell me where the crown is. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. But... Can it, Crane? Harana just tried to kill you. You want her to have a crown? Private vault companies on South Ridge Drive. We get to the airport. Now. Here they are. Stop them. All right. Let's try the decoder again. Consider yourself in protective custody. Lock him in, kid. Car, will you, pal? I see what all that fuss was about. Sorry, Harana, but a stolen crown never made a man a king or a woman a princess. Hey, that's good, Michael. What is that, uh, Shakespeare? Mm -mm. Michael Knight. Yeah, I had to lay some bread on the demolition guys, but at least they found it almost in one piece. Well, I see you did say the timing was going bad. True. Well, now you got a chance to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, with uh, a lot of work. I mean, she'll be as good as new in no time. Great Scott. What is that? Ah. Oh, uh, it is. It is it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Well, cheer up. I've just come from the museum. They plan to feature Tecatl's crown in a special Mayan exhibit next month. 
Your father would have been very pleased, my dear. Thank you so much, Devin. And very, very proud. How can I ever thank you, Michael? Wait, this isn't goodbye, is it? Well, I have booked you a plane, uh, as you asked. Not today. Well, that did seem a trifle premature. After all, the police will have questions to ask. So I thought perhaps um, three days. I think that shows incredible insight. Mm, yes, incredible. Mm. I owe you one. Only one. <laughs> The Occult Night Rider.